Thank goodness Scree makes shorts in camouflage and they're really, really light. I mean, they're like, you could feel a water vapor through these. They're so light and short sleeve shirts. So, but anyways, guys, today I got the spear. This is the one I just made. It's a homemade spear. It's a five footer. It's out of rebar. So I, I hand forged this myself with a hatchet and then a file. I sharpened it and um so then i i finished it off by heating it till it wasn't magnetic and which i had to guess on because i didn't have a magnet um and then i put it in motor oil so she is fine-tuned ready to go check that baby out so it's actually kind of ridged it is see the see the ridges in here so my philosophy is when this goes into the deer, I'm hoping that those ridges tear things up and make it hard for it to fall out. And with all the weight in the back, uh, I'm hoping it does massive damage. Obviously, you know, shot placement is really important. And, um, you know, we're working with about a one inch diameter, which is not that much. Most of your broadheads nowadays are almost twice that, if not more. So. I'm gonna head in. I have a little bit of a walk ahead of me. And uh, what it is, is there's some does that we got on trail cam. They, they aren't having fawns anymore. They're barren. I don't know if it's they're too old or complications, but it's time to call them out of the herd here at Quest Haven. So talk to Russ. We're gonna get them out of the, out of the herd. Where I'm hunting, there's a trail that goes right below a ladder stand. I'm hoping one of these two does will walk relatively close to my stand and I'm just gonna drop it and the goal is to not Tim Wells myself for those of you <laughs> that have ever watched Tim Wells you probably know what I'm talking about he he dropped one of these out of a tree it hit him in the leg he almost bled to death so safety first You've heard the terms close but no cigar. In this instance, <laughs> it wasn't even close. We didn't even see a deer on day one. Let's just try again tomorrow. All right, boys and girls, today's the big day. This is day two of my spear hunt. Um, we're going after some does that don't have fawns anymore. Uh, we are, we're at Quest Haven. Um, so it's a, it's a 2,500 acre uh, estate ranch and we're going to do it with a spear that I handmade. We're headed into the ranch right now. The other day I tried a spot and I didn't even see any deer while I was there. So I'm going to try a different approach. I'm going to hunt a new location and I'm going to use my lone wolf climber and, and see if we can get a spear shot. For a spear shot they got to be pretty stinking close. So. 
Here we go. Sometimes. You just gotta let your hair down. There's two things, there's two main things that are gonna make this hunt a success. Number one, I have a mullet. That pays huge dividends. You gotta have a mullet if you think you're gonna be a good hunter, especially a primitive hunter with a spear, yet alone a homemade spear. Now, aside from the mullet, you need to get yourself a trucker hat. And I just happen to have both. I like my odds today. The first thing I did was designate a keel hole. This was an area that once the doe entered, I would make my move. But first I had to clear out any overhanging limbs or anything that would cause me to not have a clear shot. Day two was over. After each day, I would throw a practice shot just to get used to throwing from elevated stand. Finally, an opportunity had presented itself. One of the white-tailed does was heading right for the kill hole. But last second, she turned and decided to go behind the tree. So I'd made a stupid decision to throw overhand. My spear went right over top of the doe's back and then it spooked her right into the kill hole. Unfortunately, I only had one spear. The doe walked off, not completely spooked, but kind of unsure about what just happened. Later that evening, the doe and another doe crossed way out in front of me, making sure to stay out of range of whatever had chucked a spear at her earlier. It was now day four. I had changed my location again, and this time, right off the bat, both does were headed my direction. Doe number one never stopped, so I crossed my fingers for doe number two and got ready. I'm looking for my spear. You see this behind me here? She literally fell off of this. And uh, I'm having trouble figuring out because she, she drug the spear with her a ways. But I want to go back and review the footage. And that way I know what to do going forward. I know I went through her shoulder area, but I'm not sure if it came out of right below her leg or if it went through her chest which that's what obviously what I'm hoping happened. So, not to mention falling off this cliff um, probably helped out and killing her. Who knows, she might be laying over there dead or she might be perfectly fine, I don't know. So, I'm gonna get out of here, find the spear, get out of here, and then go review the footage. And then we're gonna have to make a decision. But guys, I am so stoked right now. 
I never thought in a million years that I'd spear uh, an animal, yet alone a deer, yet alone with the spear that I forged at a rebar. So I'm super stoked, man. Whew. All right, guys, so here's some blood. And here's the important piece right here. Okay, can you see the bubbles in that? It might not focus but there's actual bubbles in that. Um, here's, a, here's another one. It's got bubbles in it. So I got at least one lung. That's good news, really good news. All right, I found the spear. So I'm on the side of this cliff and it is tucked up underneath the cliff side. Right there. I'm gonna go get it before I fall off this. Look at that. Yep. See all the hair? So, look at that, it's bent. She completely bent it. Interesting. But, see the, see the white hair on there? So that tells me it either came out in her armpit or under her chest. I'm guessing it came out under her chest. But I can't believe this thing, man. It went through her like butter. That's just insane to me. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> all right, guys. Can you see all those bubbles? There's a bunch of bubbles in there. Yeah. There's a bunch of bubbles. So that's a really, really good sign, guys. I'm feeling better about it. Feeling a lot better about it. Come on, giddy up. Come on. Let's go. Come on, giddy up. All right. It's starting to rain a little bit, but I got my tracking pup out. This is Niva. She's one of my females. She's uh, still a bit of a novice. She's, she knows how to track, but she's learning. Um, I wanted to bring her out and just see how she does. Let's get to work. Good, oh boy. A lot of lung blood. Big old clot. Good girl. I was doing an awesome job. She's working like a dog. What do you got, girl? What do you got? Good girl. Looky here. Looky here. Good girl. Good girl. You done good, lad. You done good. Good job. Good job, sweetie. Oh boy. You're about to get your first slice of fresh meat. Let's have a look. Come on. Oh wow. Oh boy. That's a heck of a hole. Wow, dude. That spear tore her up. Wow. Look at that. Thank you, old girl. I'm gonna turn the I'm gonna turn the camera off and just reward my dog here, spend some time with her. But I also just like to give thanks. Thank you guys for coming with me on this journey. I just I never I never dreamed that I would spear a deer, yet alone make the spear that I used to spear the deer. So super stoked about that. Um, literally when I was in the stand, so this was a four day hunt and uh, literally while I was in the stand, come here, come here, come on, come here, come on, come on, good girl, come on. But literally when I was in the stand, I thought, this is never going to happen. I don't have a shot in the world. And I was like, Jesus, please help me. <laughs> and uh, it wasn't long that this doe here and another doe showed up and the one doe, when she crossed the kill hole she never stopped I thought about stopping her but 
I knew that this doe was coming and sure enough she stopped perfect right in the kill hole. Here we are. <laughs> good girl. Good girl, Niva. Good girl. Yeah, go work for that patch. Gonna work for that patch. For those of you who don't know, we have a, my wife and I have a tracking company called Glenny Tracking. That's why our channel's called Our Tracks because it's about our tracks and what we leave behind. And um, got a stinking bug in my. But um, so these these dogs are a big part of our life too. Let's get her out of here. Wow. Right here. I mean, look at the look at the cut. Man, that thing opened her up. Look at the cut it made. That's just insane. This episode is brought to you by Federal Ammunitions. Click the link in the description to see some of our favorite ammos. If you guys would like to learn how I made my spear without using any power tools, I will leave a link in the description once the video has been uploaded. Don't forget to like and subscribe.